inspiration can absolutely come from anywhere, even a little book. Like this Picasso bug. I took one look at this photo and knew I had to get those colors in a mandala. I want to share with you guys my thought process and how I turn everyday things into mandalas. I hope you enjoy.
Oh, you guys, tell me what you think about this. This one is really different, but I knew when I saw that little bug, I had to get him on a mandala somehow. Those colors were crazy, and I almost gave up because those colors were crazy. But would you look at these two together? Holy moly, you guys, it is like, okay, I'm like a little kid right now. I feel like I just did some magic, and I took a bug and a rock and went, and look what we got. Oh, I know that sounds goofy, but I really get so excited over this, and it never gets old. Listen, I'm going to link everything down in the description that you need for this. If I miss something, just check my website. I promise you, it is somewhere. Anyway, you got to give this a try. It is just too cool. I'm also going to link a video right here from a tutorial I did that was inspired by a flower in one of you guys' gardens. Oh, I couldn't help but be inspired, and I did a whole mandala on it. I hope you give it a watch, and until next time, rock on!